Okay, so I just came here to show something that may be coming up this Christmas if I if this actually goes through, which it seems like it will. So I've been kind of, you know, I've been in a kind of in a in an obsession to restore my two rock Santas and one last year I fixed it. It works fine, it's acceptable, but the way I, you know, the way I altered the mechanism, I just you know, I regret it so much because it became very unstable. But thankfully, due to a, uh, thanks to some uh, person from the robot collecting community, which is John Rigg, he pretty much built 3D printed robots and such stuff. And he uses a lot of board modules from Palalu to sound card modules, everything you can imagine. He actually used, uh, a certain, you know, arrangement, a certain array of chips, which I'll be showing right now. Uh, and, you know, it it worked out for me as, as it did for him. And it's a really good, it's a really good way of making a, a fried rock Santa dance again. So there's three, um, three boards here. Ignore this one. This is just a, an MP3 player board, just like the other one. It's just, I just put it there for sample purposes, just to show how it would look like. But the real deal is this. This is a double H bridge board, and this is a NE555 timer board. And uh, pretty much they are both connected so that the timer board has, you know, equal pulses. It pretty much has an even number of pause and an even number of, uh, of pulses so that, you know, it in, in the Rock Santa, pretty much, it can go one side and the other side at the same time. So that's pretty much what's going to happen over here. And uh, John Rigg, actually, he, he pretty much uh, said that there was a way to make it, you know, to make a motor actually go reverse with one single pulse. And he pretty much did it. I did it too. It's uh, you got to do a few bridges here and there. Put a 2.7k ohm resistor, which in this case I didn't have, so ignore this. This is just a bunch of resistors trying to, trying to get to that one uh, value. Thankfully, I got to that value. It's even a little higher. Maybe it's a uh, 2.8. But other than that, you also have to replace a capacitor because these pulse generators are very fast. The pulsing is really fast. If you put a light bulb, for example, it's just going to flicker. No matter if the slow is, it's, it's going to blink fast. So aside from that, of course, I connected everything and pretty much the idea would be the exact same thing as with the previous model, which again, if this actually goes through and it turns out to be a successful uh, repair type and I can, you know, fit it all in, I'm going to probably consider grabbing the other one, I, you know, the one from last year and uh and basically putting this this on you know this unaltered mechanism on <clears throat> in it and just leaving the continuous mechanism to this one without the hat um the the thing's not really going to it's not really going to have too much of a difference these two boards are probably going to go on this on this boot the delay and normal switch which right now isn't there uh it's going to turn on this the circuitry and uh, this one over here, the volume key is going to turn this one on, you know, switch it on, not not uh, mod moderate the volume. That's something I'm going to probably have to do again. Same deal, put buttons on the in the sleeves and uh, disable a few things over here. But this is pretty much what I what I've been getting so far. Get ready for a little Christmas, uh, a little light show here. Okay. I Oh. Okay, I paused it. As you guys can see right now, it is dancing, but it's dancing kind of slow. And it's doing that on purpose because I'm going to show exactly what you do. After you replace this capacitor, which I, I left the original SMD capacitor on there, just, just in case if I ever need this for something else. But I put a 10 microfarad over there. And that's pretty much going to do the trick, so it's going to go slower. What you got to do after that is adjust this potentiometer over here. Uh, you got to tighten it up, and that's when the thing's going to go faster. So let me see if I can achieve that with this hand. 
and show how the Santa is going at the same time. That's going to be kind of tough. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to, right now I'm going to tighten it. It should be going faster now. And if I tighten it up a little more, we should be getting a decent speed. Similar to what it originally is supposed to run. And even if you do it a lot more, you're going to make it even faster. And if you do it a lot more, the hips are actually pushing my arm. I can't even... There we go. And if you do it like that, it's going to try to twerk. So, I, yeah, that's pretty much the... The thing, so the reason why I actually, okay, I'm going to be, I'm going to regulate it properly. There we go. This is kind of how it's supposed to be, maybe a little less, but yeah, that's, uh, that's how it's actually meant to be. And I realized that this one doesn't really move that much. Maybe the belt is a little bad or something. Maybe I have to do a, an adjustment or so. But um, that's pretty much the first, the main part. And the reason why I I plugged this thing in is because I wanted to see exactly if there was any major, you know, any major uh, consumption from this or this that would not let the other one do its job. And so far, so good. I mean, I cranked it up for full volume and uh, it seems to work fine, so... It's a uh, volume. Dashing through the snow in a one hush up and sleigh. How the fields we go, laughing all the way. Oh, no. Bells are bumped and rang, making spirits bright. For that it's the right, I sang a sleigh song tonight. Sing a bell, sing a bell, sing a lot of way. Now I find that it's the right, and one hush up and sleigh. Sing a bell, sing a bell, sing a lot of way. Now I find that it's the right, and one hush up and sleigh. So yeah, that's uh, practically everything I had to show for now. Uh, this is how it's going, and uh, it's going to probably be postponed until... Maybe until I'm done with the repair I'm doing right now, but uh, I'm not too sure, and I have no certainness about it, but it works. And uh, so far, it seems like it's going to be something that I will be able to, you know, put together and actually make, you know, leave turned on all the night. So uh, another small <laughs> another small approach to perfection ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching